Hello everybody, welcome back. My name is Crystal Face, and uh, yeah, we're playing Costume Quest 2. We just left that nerd guy's house, because his mom went crazy and, like, threw candy at us and slammed the door in front of our faces, because that's awesome. And, uh, yeah, so I guess we have, uh, all the candy back for that Bones kid, Lil Bones, I think his name was. Uh, I'm not sure if there's really a way I su I'm supposed to go. Um... I feel like, let me try going back to the beginning, uh, portal place area. I feel like, mm, well, I met him somewhere in the center over here, didn't I? Like somewhere in this weird little bayou, stilt houses place. I guess it's not really stilt houses. More like just floating houses. This place is really cool, by the way. Um, I don't remember where I met Little Bones, though. Well, that this might be. I was about to say I don't really, I don't really know where to go, but this might be a good indicator that since there's an enemy over here, I'm trying to get the sneak attack on her, but she keeps moving forward. Keep moving forward. Seriously, you're gonna keep going over here? Come on, lady. Get out of here. She just keeps coming over here. Take your clock, take your flavor flave necklace off. You're not that cool. Seriously. I mean, she's not actually following me, right? Just her path takes her all the way over here. Yeah. Hey, Conehead, think fast. Pterodactyl. Woo! Hey, that's cool. Rodan. That's awesome. Well, this is the first time we've seen this in combat, I think. Right? Yeah. Some some nor some normals. Call them. Whoa! Hello, man. That's so cool. Terra attack dull. <laughs> nice. Pterodactyl. Two puns in a row. Let's just do a, a normal attack. Yeah. Yo, yo. Amazing. Whoa, that's a lot of damage. That was amazing. You saw that? That was a lot of freaking damage. I almost one shot that thing. Yeah. Wow, Pterodactyl is super great, apparently. So, yeah. 41, not bad at all. And block. Why block? So, yeah, Pterodactyl is definitely way better than the other two characters I have. I wonder... Hmm. I wonder if strength and, like, power... You know, like, attack power? Just, like, the amount of damage I can do to someone? Is that... Is that something that affects when I get leveled up? Do I get stronger and stuff? I'm assuming that I do. Because that's what happens in every game. But in this game, is a little unorthodox, so... I don't know the real, like, leveling system of this game. I gotta check my stats and stuff, see if there are <laughs> stats, because I'm not sure. I wanna see if they have, like, little HP ratings and, like, you know, attack damage. Whoa, that was awesome. Did you hear how that pterodactyl was screaming? That was awesome. Okay, so let's see, status. I see 99 for some reason, and a 30 for some reason. Like, what does that do? Okay, so that's okay. So the top row, uh, is my heart points, and then the bottom row is attack power. So my pterodactyl gives me plus two attack power, and then the clown one only gives her zero attack power. Oh, and then the pails do extra damage as well. Wow, the clown gives you a lot of health, plus ten. Pterodactyl only does plus three. I've actually never looked at this before. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I've played this for like two hours or something already. Um, Alright, cool. Good to know. Good to know. I'm actually glad that I know that now. So now I know that there's actual stats and... Oh, oh it's just shady. And, uh... Give me all your candy. I already, already, already actually took everyone's candy. Hey, dude. Um, I'm actually not sure where to go. After Oral returns to the candy, you find the little bones at the boat launch in the French Quarter. On the right side, just past healing... The fountain area. He's happy to get the candy, but unfortunately the boat doesn't work. Find the boat repairman at the far right end of the French Quarter. He's willing to fix the boat for fifty dollars. So he's in the French Quarter. Uh oh, there he is! Yay! Look, I found him. How am I supposed to know he was over here? What the heck? Here's your candy, stupid little thing. This melt load for sure. You wouldn't believe what we had to go through to get it for you, and also wandering around for a few minutes. I wouldn't care if you told me. Give me that candy. I don't know what voice I might have given last time. Whoa. 
So, are you just literally a skeleton kid? So, ready to get to the witches now? Hey, are you ready to go? <laughs> the... What? Oh, yeah. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Alright. He just knows how to operate a big wind boat. Whoa, okay. That's a great sign. That's so good. That's not... <laughs> that's not good. Can you fix it? We really need to meet with those witches. Do I look like a boat mechanic? No, you look like a skeleton. Exactly, and skeletons don't fix boats. Not to overgeneralize. Anyway, if you can find a mechanic to fix it, I'll take you over there. Otherwise, I'll be here eating the sweet nectar. The sweet nectar candy. Well, good thing that there is a boat mechanic to the right over here. Look at me go. Alright, so this guy over here. Our friend's fan boat broke. Can you help us fix it? Of course I can. That's what I do. I couldn't call myself a boat mechanic if I couldn't fix a dang fan boat. Great, come with us. It's just over here. Now hang on just a second. That's gonna cost you 50 bucks first. 50 bucks? That's expensive. I ain't no charity kid. I got a mouth to feed. <laughs> your own? You bring me 50 bucks and I'll have you back on the water in no time. We got your 50 bucks here. Woo wee. Now we're talking 50 bucks. Somebody's eating good tonight. Yeah, not us. Can you fix our boat now? Ain't no need for that. All you need is this. Whoa, what the? He gave us a paddle? What's this for? I just fixed your boat. Are you serious? We didn't pay 50 bucks for an oar. This thing is only worth like 20. That's true, but it costs 30 for labor. Labor? What labor? I ain't got time to explain the intricacies of my business, kid. It's complicated. Besides, we're closed now. Oh, great. We just got gypped. I could have just went down to Walmart and bought a little $20 or, but whatever. Alright, so we got your, what the heck is going on with this kid's eyes? Hey, little Bones, we got you an ore. This will work, right? Oh, hey, you found my ore. I was wondering what happened to that thing. What's going on with this kid? It won't be as fast as a fan, but it'll do. Let's go. Dude, what the heck? Was he, like, transforming into something super evil? I feel like I should be worried about this kid. Maybe we shouldn't give skeletons candy. Also, that's impossible in real life. But, you know, this isn't real life. This is fake life. Ooh, spooky. But yeah, that was weird. He had, like, spearmint. Uh, eyes. Spinning. It was, it was really cool, actually. I'm just worried about him going crazy on us and trying to attack us or something. Alright. Well, you could, you, you could, like, paddle a little faster, maybe. I mean, I know you don't have any muscles, so it's probably kind of hard, but come on, man. Speed it up. Those witches of yours live somewhere on this island. Good luck finding them. <laughs> this is my stop, too. I'm out of here. Feel free to use that boat. It wasn't mine anyway. <laughs> oh, great. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Did he just turn on the fan? Oh, I thought I was just gonna fly away without us. Okay. Yeah, because that's what those boats do. They just fly. Well, there's a bunch of enemies. Hiya! This is what a two pound of candy feels like. Two pounds of candy across your face. Yeah, baby. Man, I love that. I feel like a Pokemon. What's up, guys? Let's try Pterodactyl. I'm not sure what the heck it is, but let's, let's just do it. Oh, these guys are definitely way stronger. Immediately making my pterodactyl normal. <laughs> well, what? Goggles? What am I dropping, turds? Oh, eggs, probably. <laughs> Just one person? That's a little lame. Oh, well. Uh, bounce attack. Bounce eight. And boom. Alright, cool. Nice. Uh, should be able to kill this guy. Okay, you're gone. Not too fond of that pterodactyl attack. It only hit, like, one person. But I think it had an effect on him. Uh, I wasn't, I'm not too sure, but I think there was like a residual effect on it. Where, like, it got eggs in his eyes or something. Alright, let's see how hard you hit. Yeah! Right, not bad. Not bad. Alright. Uh, that's a healing, so I'm not gonna just use that. I mean, we are damaged, but not that bad. Alright. Uh, they're all normal. I mean, they have, a, they have bigger health bars, sure, but... They're all normal characters, so I'm not really too worried about this, and I'm not gonna use up my creepy tree cards on them. 
should really just go willy nilly throwing those out anyways. So this should clean up his clock. Boom! Ah, well that was actually a good pun that I didn't intend. I didn't <laughs> uh, good, this is cool man, it's really cool, give me cool points you guys. You guys think I'm cool now, right? Because I said that, and I'm emphasizing it. Oh, oh okay. Okay, Reynolds actually looking pretty damaged. So, uh, let's go ahead and Pterodactyl a tackle. And then I will do a healer. Or not. You know, I don't need healing. <laughs> that was an accident. Okay. And Fist Attack. I don't know if I'll kill him. But I'm hopefully I will. Are you gonna die now? No, he's still alive. He might be able to take out Reynolds. <clears throat> no, Reynolds dead. Alright, you're gone. Sorry, Pterodactyl. No use in doing that, I don't think. And... Uh, okay, cool. Well, that's kind of sucky, but whatever. <laughs> Look, I'm just dead back there. Flippity flaps. Fully heals your heroes after you win. Ooh. Cool. Can't go on without water. Or candy. I don't know why they mention water in dehydration. Because I get, like... I get full heal out of candy. Darn it, there's a fountain right there. I suck at this so hard. Every time I eat candy... <laughs> Every time I eat candy to restore my health, I freaking there's a fountain right there. What is this? Did that did that person just come back? I just took that out. Hey buddies. Thank you. Hey. I'm gonna go ahead and dodge that one purposefully. Yeah, there's a lot of bad freaking dudes over here. What the why is there a decoration over here? Oh, hello. What's this? Oh, cool. Uh-oh. Those might be the witches I was talking about. Well, they were talking about. Should I... Whoa, what? Is that Reynold again? Is that me and her in the future or past or something? Hey, kids. You guys are in some serious danger. From what? How did you get here anyway? Okay, so it's a different person. Dorian. There's a dentist coming to steal some sort of talisman from you. Why would a dentist want our talisman? That's ridiculous. My dad has been guarding the monster gate since he was a kid. The last thing he's worried about is some stupid dentist. Haha. <laughs> okay, so we got some little exposition there. We're here to warn you. You are in danger here. What? Don't sneak up on me like that. Dorsilla? <laughs> Do I know you? Uh, nope. Never seen you before. Then why are you trying to rile me up? Let me roast my marshmallows in peace. Wait. Dorsilla? Isn't that the lady from the first game? No way. Yeah, I think she was like the main bad guy in the first game. I'm not 100% sure, because I can't really remember. Well, this guy looks awesome. What is he, he's just grilling? You guys are just grilling and chilling. Excuse me, ma'am. You are in super big danger right now. Oh, I know, this place seems creepy, but we lived here for years. Nothing to worry about. Do you want to join us for some barbecue? You guys aren't getting it. Our dentist is coming from the future to steal your talisman. <laughs> I don't know how you know about the talisman, but I can assure you of one thing. These burgers are delicious. You guys should join us. <laughs> Witch mom. Nice. Aptly titled. Excuse me, sir. I need to sell you something. Hey, little one. Does your mom know you're out here? Thanks for your concern, but this is an emergency. What's the big emergency, then? Witch dad. Our dentist. He's crazy. He made some sort of pact with a time wizard, and he's headed here right now to steal a thousand from you. A dentist, huh? Well, I can assure you that you, you, we can handle any dentist that comes this way, kid. Now I can interest you in a gator burger? We have plenty. Gator burger? Uh-oh. No! Why won't you guys listen to me? Halloween is at stake! Calm down. Look, I've got the talisman thingy right here. It's fine. Be careful with that, Drusilla. Our family's been using this to keep monsters from coming through that gate for generations. This <laughs> is just like excessively acknowledging. I doubt that some dentist is going to suddenly travel through time and take it. <laughs> I am a dentist, and I'm going to take that. I'll take that. Drusilla! Dorsala! Uh oh, Shadow Ball! Oh man. Oh no, he frozen in time. I saw what you did to the future, Dr. White. We aren't gonna let you destroy Halloween. Let me? I've already done it. Say goodbye to your disgusting tooth rotting holiday. Whoa, that's cool. Also, I don't know what it is though. He just pulled a pin out? Whoa, hello. So, did he like sort of also caused the first game's problems? That does it! This ends now! Yes. Yes, it does. 
Chronoculus. I guess that's how you pronounce that. This guy looks cool. But I guess he's super evil. Let's kill him! Yeah. I wonder how. Whoa! Wow. This guy's awesome. You might have been able to stop Cron Cronus. But you cannot stop Chronoculus. Why do? You see those, like, weird speed pills pop up? I don't know. Well, definitely using it. Whoa, 500. That's a lot of freaking. Okay. Chosen hero takes two turns. I like that. A minion takes damage. A minion's attack damage itself. I don't know if that'll hurt him because he's not a minion per se. I'll try it. Select an enemy. I can't use it on him. Dang it. Okay. Well, let's just use. Let's just use this. And I'll select. Um. Reynolds because he's the strongest. Suckums! <laughs> oh, whoa. What the heck? He just threw it up. That's awesome. So they all have. They all have special card drawing, like, animations. It's super great. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad I had Suckums on. Alright. Let's do Pterodactyl. Maybe the egg on your face thing is actually uh, some sort of status effect. Blah, 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 blah. I legitimately thought they were turds at first. Yeah, see, there's some sort of, I don't know, status effect of some kind. I'm not, I'm not sure what it is yet, but... I'm sure we'll figure it out as a team. Yeah. All right, all right. So I don't have my buzz attack yet. I think I have a feeling that he'll summon minions at some point. Hey, I'm kind of wrecking this guy. Carnaloculus is weakened. Cool. Yeah. I think my uh, my eggs made him a little bit just weaker generally, and I think he also took a little bit of extra damage. I am winning. Yeah. What's up, Carnaloculus? Chronological. I think that's the point of his name. Yeah. Beat down in the bayou. How about some sweet justice, buddy? Take a bus full of justice. Whoa, did I kill him? Dude, I think I killed him. Oh, wait, I guess not. I just heard him enough. Ha ha ha. The more of me, the merrier. You're wasting your time. I can turn back the clock anytime I want. Whoa, what just happened? Did I just hurt them or? Chronoculus is weakened. Weak sauce? Aw, oh, dang it. So, you're almost dead though, dude. He's all like boasting and stuff. I'm just gonna go ahead and. S I think I could. Yeah, kill him. I think he's healing himself though. So, I'm assuming that every turn he'll probably heal himself. I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. You dead yet? Monty is poisoned! Hey, how come I didn't kill him? Did I? Does he really just have one health left? Wait a second. I have to aim at the clock? Let's, uh... But he only has one health point left. Hmm, that's weird. Should I go for the... Clock or for him? I'm gonna go for the clock. Yeah! The source of his powers. I'll make the clown hit attack him again. Refreshing. Oh gosh. He just got all his health back. Ow. That's crazy. He just got his health back. Okay. Uh, I didn't think. Okay. I, I mean, I, I guess I was wrong in assuming this was going to be so easy. What? That's so weird. Okay, fine. Um, let's just. Uh, let's focus. Let's use Reynolds to focus on the boss because he's the strongest so far. Hey, where's my creepy G card attack? I thought I just had the double attacking thing, like, all the time. I guess not. Alright. I'll, uh... I'll, uh, bounce attack this guy. Boing. Boing. Okay. A big confetti explosion. Wow, I killed it. Very sweet. I actually didn't expect that at all. So, with that out of the way... Yeah! Okay, so we have certain opportunities to attack the clock. Yeah. And damage is like powers. I'm assuming it, it's the source of his power. So it's like, if I don't take out the clock entirely, then he'll just live forever, basically. Um, I'm not that... Well, damage... Well, Monty is pretty jacked up, actually. 
I don't have any. Uh, I wish I equipped bouncy cards or uh, bouncy cards. Um, Kirby G cards before this, because the ones I have don't really work on bosses. Flying fist attack. Yeah, uh, sure. I mean, I don't really have any creepy G cards I can use. I can't use these. Just gonna go for the fist of cuffs. Okay, cool. Not bad. Where you gotta go? Okay, you want for Monty. Monty's almost dead, man. There's no way to heal him other than the laughter thing, so I'm gonna have to go for it. Alright, let's do it. Okay, cool. And I have to laughter. Ah! Let's just skip it. There you go. Alright. Sweet. And uh, all I gotta do is punch. Can't do anything else. Although he, he does, Monty does have a bust attack now. Everyone's doing okay. Monty's kind of hurt and I just took a hit. But everything's going okay. I just hope he doesn't turn back the clock again. But he most likely will. I mean, of course he will. <laughs> That's like the gimmick. Um... Man, alright. Let's, uh, do this. And boom! Okay, alright. Stuff's happening, stuff's happening. I'm glad that I have Monty bus attack right now. That's fine, my cronies can help me end your lifetime. He's so cool looking, though. Let your chain hang low, does it wobble, blah, blah, blah. Does it shine in a light? Alright, should I bus attack the clock? <laughs> I should bus attack the clock. That's not even a question. Bus attack the clock! The clock's almost dead. Come on, come on. The clock's almost dead. Oh no. Ah. Oh man. Please let me attack him one more time. Yes. It's clock time. Baby. Yeah. Amazing. No, oh, my time piece. Yeah. I, I am naked without it. Whoa, he's kind of creeping me out now. But never fear, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> Here he comes, boom! Confetti explosion. Oh, oh no! How did you defeat me? I can't wrap my head around this. I'm so disappointed. Well, I got frostbites. Max out one hero's special meter. Ooh, sweet. What? I right, see you later. I didn't foresee that outcome. Oh well. <laughs> Well, see you later. Nice pose, witch mom. How could the chronoculus get free? That's impossible. Yeah, he was locked in a time-proof cage. And how did that dentist even know that we had the talisman? Oh, now he technically knows. Does that mean that he'll be evil later again? What? Time, we time is weird. Time travel is weird. And look at that loser goblin on the top right. Uh, that was messed up. At least we have the clock. He can't do any more time traveling. We need to get back to Everett and Lucy. Hope that time hole is back where we left it. Wow. Well, that was an awesome development. I wish I had my creepy cheat cards to help me. I mean, I didn't do bad, and I was just about to eat candy, but I know there's just a fountain to the left. But, this has been Crystal Face. Thank you so much for watching Custom Quest 2. Check out the Crystal Face description show down below for some daily goods on t-shirts, music, and uh, funny and or cool tweets that I see on Twitter. Thank you so much for watching again, and I'll see you. Bye. A lot Hurry up and pay off your house. Much. Shut up, pay your mortgage, what? Jerk. You see that? <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Look, she has her own dead mom really on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> you murder! <laughs> oh my <laughs> gosh. Dude, and she has her dad here as a t-shirt. <laughs> Freaking psychopath. I killed my parents. Ha <laughs> ha